So, greetings, friends, and uh, today's lecture uh, will be seeing about uh, the FAIR filter uh, design. So, generally, the FAIR filter uh, designing can be done by uh, various methods. So, in, uh, in uh, today's lecture, so the design of uh, the FAIR filter will be carried out using your uh, window method. Okay. So we'll be uh, designing the FIR filter using your window method. So the method what we'll be using is the window method. Apart from this window method, there are some other methods that also can be implemented, like the, your uh, Fourier series method. So with the Fourier series method also, you can design your uh, FIR uh, filter. It is possible to design your uh, FIR filter using your Fourier series method also, OK? So in this uh, lecture, we will be dealing only with your uh, window filter, OK? So that is a windowing method. So how this windowing method, uh, this windowing method, how we will be able to design, will be see. So the following steps are to be followed in order to design using your windowing method. Okay. So in this, the first step will be to the first step will be choosing the desired frequency response. Okay. So generally, so based upon the frequency response, the filter will be classified uh, into uh, yeah, you can say high pass filter. Okay, based upon your uh, frequency response, it can be classified as high pass filter, low pass filter, then after the low pass, it will be your band pass filter, band pass filter, and then your band stop filter. So these four are the filters which can be uh, classified based upon your frequency response. So first, uh, our main primary objective is to uh, design your uh, FIR filter. So for that, you have to select uh, the frequency response. The frequency response must be either from this any four uh, filters. Okay, it must be satisfied in any of these uh, four filters. So, as early as step one, it's mandatory to select your uh, desired frequency of the filter. So, that's your first step. So, choose the, choose the desired, desired frequency response to the desired frequency response of filter at the of omega. So this corresponds to your frequency response. Okay, so second thing is that you have to take the inverse of the inverse Fourier transform for the Okay, so take take inverse Fourier take inverse Fourier transform take inverse Fourier transform of this transfer function as D of omega. Okay, so if you're taking your inverse Fourier transform, then so what you'll be getting is you'll be getting your inverse response. Okay, so through this inverse transform, you will be able to get your to obtain the desire, desire impulse. It is possible to get your desired impulse response. So it's in that at small h b of yes. So this is how it becomes after taking your inverse. 
transform. It was Fourier transform. Okay. So after this, the third step is we have to choose the window. There are the different types of windows. So among those windows, you have to uh, select the required uh, window. What will be uh, applicable based upon the frequency? Okay. So the point is that the point is that choose choose a window sequence. You have to choose the window sequence. This is in the sequence W of N. Okay. This is in the sequence W of N. That's that. You have to multiply that. You have to multiply, multiply the impulse response what you have obtained in the previous step as D of N by U of W of n. This W of n will be corresponding to your uh, gain value. Rate, okay. So by doing so, what will be get is you will be able to convert convert the infinite infinite duration. Okay, it is possible to convert to an infinite that is okay. I I you should be getting the idea of it. Okay. Infinite duration. Impulse response response to a finite duration to a finite duration impulse finite duration impulse response. Okay, so it is uh it, you can't able to convert the infinite duration into a finite duration using this third step. And for that, you have to know about the window sequence. So we'll be dealing with the window sequence in the upcoming uh, slide. Okay. So, in the fourth and the final uh, step, what we have to deal with this is fourth one is a transfer function. Transfer function at top. So the transfer function what you get is at top is there. Okay, at top is there. A filter will be filter will be obtained. Okay, will be obtained by will obtained by taking. Get transfer of a chop n. Get transform of a chop n. So these are the four steps. So using these four steps, it is possible to determine, uh, design your repair filter. But uh, the only condition is that uh, here I have uh, told about the windows. Okay. So you have to know about the window sequence or what other window sequence are, are available. First you have to know about that and then only can get into the problem. Okay. So generally there are different types of windows. Okay. I'll be giving a uh, brief about it. And uh, if you want to know in detail about the design of each, each and every window. What you can do is you can just uh, refer your uh, Anand Kumar book. Okay. So we'll be moving to uh, different types of windows. Different types of windows. Okay. So starting with your starting with your rectangular window, very really important. Uh, Type the same window, so it is the most com common uh, we use window. And the window followed by followed by your 
function for an end point for an end point rectangular window for an end point rectangular window is window is it is given as w small w r of n okay so small w here capital r of n will be equal to either it will be taking the value of uh, one One or zero. So it takes only two values. So these two values, how it will be is, it will be for uh, minus n minus one by two. Okay, less than equal to n. Less than equal to n minus one by two. Okay, so. Only at this values, only at this particular values, it takes out the value to be one. Okay, so otherwise it takes the values as zero as well. Okay, so in this how uh, this rectangular window function uh, works, uh, and uh, and for this uh, thing. So it works, and it can be also modified and returned as W R of n. W R of n will be equal to the same thing, but the boundary condition will be varying. One for zero less than equal to small n less than equal to n minus one. Okay, that n minus one by two. Sorry, we are just taking uh, out, and over here, otherwise it will be zero. Else, where? Okay. So this is how your rectangular window works. Okay. So this window is applicable for all your filters uh, uh, like the low pass, high pass, band pass, column by your, and stop filters. Okay. So it is applicable for all the 
on the four types of uh, the frequency response uh, filters. Okay. And now moving on to the next filter. It's nothing but your triangular or bottle window. Okay. So triangular, triangular. R bottler. So here this R represents your rectangular function. Okay. Triangular R bottlet window. Okay. Triangular R bottlet window. So after this, your uh, function will be WT. Okay. It will be WT of N. WT is capital T of N. Okay, this will be equal to one minus two modulus over n by n minus one. Okay, or zero. Okay, so this will be for the same limit or minus n minus one by two. Less than equal to n. Less than equal to n minus one by Two. Okay, so take this value or the limit of for this. Otherwise, it will be zero. So we can also rewrite it as we can also rewrite the function as wt wt of n equal to so the n minus one by two. You can bring it out inside. So you'll be getting one minus two. Modulus over n minus n minus one by two, so the modulus is closer divided by n minus one. So here it is zero. B takes the values for zero is then equal to n is then equal to n minus one, and this for otherwise. So. So the main. Uh, Advantage of this, uh, uh, what you can say, uh, triangular window is the triangular window uh, response or the will be having a will be having a smooth, will be having a smooth magnitude response, magnitude response. In both smooth magnitude response, in both fast band and soft band, okay. In both fast band filter as well as your It is a main advantage. Okay, uh, it will be having a smooth magnitude response uh, when compared to that of your rectangular window function. Okay, so moving on, we have raised to cosine window. Okay, so we will be moving on to your raised to cosine. Okay? So this is your third part. Okay, raised to cosine window. So, as you know, so this what it does is this very super sine window. It smoothly, smoothly truncates it truncates. The Fourier coefficients, the Fourier coefficients 
in the filter design you will be using this Fourier for coefficients and these Fourier for coefficients can be made very smooth by using this filter okay towards the end of the filter okay towards the end of filter so hence there will be there will be less distortion be less distortion okay and for this the function will be the window function will be w h so this is called as okay also called as also called also called generalized generalized amming window generalized amming window so it's a amming window but in a generalized format so this function will be how it will be means w h of n will be equal to alpha plus 1 minus alpha cos 2 pi small n by n minus 1 okay so it will be for the same uh, region as we know it is minus n minus 1 by 2 is then equal to n is then equal to n minus 1 by 2 okay otherwise it will be taking the value as 0 elsewhere okay so this is what you are about here handling in the in a generalized format okay so moving on to the next one it is your adding window fourth one it is your adding window So this handing window function this handing window results in results in smaller ripples. Okay, so the ripples produced uh, over the filter will be smaller or less in amount. Uh, ripples in both in both your pass band as well as your stop band okay and now the function for this will be whn okay is handing so it will be w h n small n of n equal to 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 cos 2 pi n by n minus 1 so this takes the value for 0 less than equal to n less than equal to n minus 1 okay otherwise it takes the value as 0 okay so this is what you have So if it's uh, so, this is for the handling window. So these uh, sub functions uh, they will be asking separately in your uh, two marks also. It is possible to ask in your two marks also. 
پیدا کرد تو اون سوال همین اون دو تو اون سوال همین اون دو So this having the function will be written as WH of n, WH of n to 0.54 minus 0.46 plus the same thing to n pi by n minus 1, comma 0 less than equal to n, less than equal to n minus 1. So otherwise it will be 0. So over here, the timing window generates generates lesser oscillations. So the oscillation is minimized. Okay. So this is an important remote question. Timing window you can expect. Okay. So the last one is your black man window. Black man window. So as per this black man window, the Function will be a little bit uh, big, uh, so it will be W B of n will be equal to zero point four two minus point five cos two n pi by n minus one plus zero point zero eight cos four n pi by n minus one. So over the period of 0 less than equal to n, less than equal to n minus 1. So otherwise, it takes the value to be 0. OK. So these are the main functions used for the windows. OK. So you have to know about uh, these things. Okay. So then when we can go into the filtering design. So we'll be getting into the first one. The first problem we'll be getting into. So example one. So design. Design an ideal design an ideal low pass filter. Design an ideal low pass filter with n equal to eleven with the frequency response, the frequency frequency response. They have given you frequency response. HD e power j omega equal to it takes either one value over the period of for omega equal to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Otherwise, it takes 0 when it varies for pi by 2. Is then equal to modulus of omega is then equal to pi. Okay, so this is a given question. So they have given the um, number of samples in. Okay, so from this, we have to design your ideal low pass filter. Okay, so they have given you the frequency response also. Okay, so as one we have given, Given you write the number of samples n equal to 11. So after that, you write your HD of omega, which is equal to 1 to 0 for minus pi by 2 to less than equal to omega, less than equal to pi by 2. 
to far pi by 2 sn equal to modulus of omega sn equal to pi okay so it is what they give us so to find find or to design ideal to design ideal low cost so this is our objective okay for this what we will be doing we have to okay uh, regarding uh, the problem will be uh, seen in the next uh, lecture okay so next lecture i will be continuing with the problem so then we will be somewhat uh, clear okay so i think uh, this we can uh, complete uh, today's lecture and uh, thank you